Hello and welcome. My name is Scott Hamilton with PM Accelerated Learning Services and PM Study. Today we will walk through a procurement question in which we will be calculating payment to the seller. Through student feedback, we are able to estimate the number of questions for each area of the PMBOK you will be tested on in the PMP exam. For procurement calculations, we estimate approximately zero to two questions on the exam. With such a low number, we recommend focusing on other areas such as quality and risk. However, it is wise to have a general understanding on how to calculate procurement payments in the event you see them on your exam. Our attention today will be on a cost plus incentive fee contract. If you do see a procurement calculation, it will likely be a cost plus incentive fee contract as this has the most steps and is therefore considered to be the most arduous to calculate. Also, being as we are not likely to see procurement calculations on the exam, our preference is to work through the problem in as little as four steps to solve it in lieu of memorizing a formula. Let's go ahead and read the question. You are the buyer and need to make payment to the seller for successfully supplying your company with five network servers and installation services. The contract is a cost plus incentive fee contract. The seller has stated the target cost TC of the service is $7,000 and we are providing an incentive fee of $2,500. Should the seller complete the installation inside the specified quality standards stipulated in the contract? The sharing ratio is 60-40. The actual cost of the service was $8,000 and the servers were installed and met the quality standards. What payment should the buyer make to the seller? Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into the question. The first task to be performed is to pull out the information that is in the question. So let's pull out our numbers here. We have a target cost. The target cost is $7,000, right here. The actual cost is $8,000, which is right here. The incentive fee is $2,500, which is right here. We also have a sharing ratio. The sharing ratio, which is listed here, is 60-40. That's 60% 60 for the buyer, 40% for the seller. And that is the standard sharing ratio. If you do see a question, a cost plus incentive fee on the exam, it'll be a 60-40, 60% for the buyer, 40% for the seller. What does that mean? That means that if there is a difference between the actual cost and the target cost, whatever the difference is, 60% of that difference is the responsibility of the buyer and 40% of the difference is the responsibility of the seller. All right, let's do our first calculation here. We have one of four calculations that we're doing. Step number one is easy because this is a cost plus incentive fee. So that is our first calculation. We calculate the cost plus the incentive fee. So let's punch in the numbers. Actual cost was $8,000 right here plus the incentive fee. The incentive fee is $2,500, making it uh, $10,500. So that is our first step. We're going to let the $10,500 just marinate right there. We've got to uh, work on some calculations to get the final price that we pay them. All right, let's do step number two. Step number two is calculate the difference between the target cost and the actual cost to determine if the seller saved money or went over the target cost. So the difference, we have the target cost of $7,000 and the actual cost of $8,000. 7000 minus $8,000 is negative $1,000. So we have an overrun of $1,000. Okay, just two easy steps to go. Step number three, calculate the seller's sharing ratio, which is 40% or 0 0.40. So we multiply the $1,000 times 0.4 to get negative $400 which is $400 we will be subtracting from their payment here. Hey, that is actually step number four, so let's do it. We have factor in the seller's sharing ratio into the payment. So the original $10,500, we're gonna need to uh, subtract $400 from that, which is their sharing ratio. So 10,500 minus 400 equals $10,100, which will be the check that we write them and the answer to this question. Well, we certainly thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any other questions, uh, feel free to visit our website at pmacceleratedlearning.com. Also there you can check out more videos as well as information about our PMP exam prep program, Scrum Master Certification program, as well as a multitude of online programs to earn professional development units 
such as Six Sigma, Information Technology Infrastructure Library, Risk Management, and of course, Project Management Online classes as well. We thank you for watching and take care.